Hi, I'm Peter Ahern, and we're going to use the water box to plant a tree right now. So let's watch and see how we do it. So first, I uh, need to get to some dirt here, and so I'm going to use this tool to scrape some of these weeds off the top, create a little space for the water box. So I'm also going to break it up with the side a little bit. I'm breaking it up so that uh, it'll absorb more water more easily. The water won't run off. It'll eventually, at the end, I'm going to pack some dirt around the water box, so I need some dirt to do that with. So, there we go, that should be about right. There we go. So, it's a little looser. That'll help the seeds to get into the ground and also to start putting some roots down. So, that's where we're going to put a water box. And now, I'm going to use the handy dandy little nifty piece of cardboard. And we're going to plant two holes. So you see there's three holes here. I'm going to pop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find north. And luckily I brought a compass here. But I know north is about that way because we've already planted a few of these. So I'm going to use my compass. And the red arrow points to magnetic north. There we go. All right. I need to make a hole so that the seed is a little bit under the surface. It'll keep birds from eating it. Um, the soil around it will help keep the seed wet. Uh, I don't want it too deep, but just a little hole to get the seed started. The soil is going to protect the seed. It's going to hold water around the seed. It's going to keep it off the surface so animals don't find it so easily. So we're going to put some seeds in there, and then I'm also going to mark where the seeds are with just a stick, like this one right here. So now I'm just going to use my fingers and push a little soil on top of each seed. And I put two seeds in each hole. That way if one seed doesn't germinate for some reason, hopefully the other one will. So now the seeds are there. And these are sugar bush seeds, so I'm going to write that on the box. I'm going to write the day that I planted it. Yeah. Which is, today is August 2nd. 8, 2, 10. Then I'm going to put the uh, initials for the scientific name of Sugarbush. And all of you are going to label your box. You're going to put the date. You're going to put what you planted. And then also I'm going to put that I put two seeds plus two seeds. I put four seeds. So two in one hole, two in another hole. Total information is the day, the type of plant, Sugarbush, Russovata, two seeds plus two seeds, and my name. All right, that goes there. So we have this little wick right here. And that needs to kind of go off to the side. And this wick is going to help move water out of the box to the soil. We don't want it right on the seed. We want it off to the side a little bit because we don't want we want the plant to have to grow roots to find water. We don't want it just to get water because then its roots won't go down. It'll uh, get used to having easy roots on the surface. It'll get lazy and it won't be a very strong plant. And when it really dries up, the plant won't survive. Okay. Now I'm going to put these nails in, um, in the ground. And these nails are going to hopefully hold this in place because we know here in the desert it can get very, very windy. Pushing dirt around it because the dirt is going to hold it in place. It's going to keep some of the water from just running away from it. It's going to help hold water in the in the box area so if it over floods the water doesn't all run away and also the dirt is going to help the edge of it so the wind doesn't get under it and blow it away and now it's time to add some water we've got seeds we've got our wick in place um, we've got dirt around it it's nailed down now we're going to add some water and that water is going to help this seed to uh, start to grow what we're going to try to do is we're going to add water so that most of it goes in the box. Um, probably about three gallons in the box and then about a gallon we want to actually kind of spill in here. We don't want to just pour it right in because that water will wash those seeds away. But you're going to see when I add water here, water is going to splash down here. And the water that splashes down is going to get the seeds nice and wet. The seeds need to find water before they're going to start to germinate. So that's going to help them to get started. And then the water in the box will be there. After this water is dried out, the water in the box will slowly give a little water to the seed every day so that they can uh, so they can grow and reach down and find the groundwater. This is about four gallons of water. So there you go. See I'm not pouring any water directly into the 
onto the seeds. There's just a little extra water splashing down there. Most of the water's going. Most of the water's going into this hole and down these two holes, which are going to fill the box. But you see, we've got some water around the seeds as well. I want to give this little guy the. It's going to be a long time probably till it rains. So I want to give this little guy as much of a chance as I can. And I'm going to take this little cap there. I'm going to snap that in place. All right, that's how you do it. Pretty okay. simple.